Oh, that wasn't the last chapter. Chapter 15. I didn't read it. Quake something? Cool. It does not give you enough time to read that. So I guess we do have one more... One more thing with, uh... With Bulverk. Yeah, I thought we'd be done in chapter 14, but I... Oh. No, it's not Bulverk. It's Ivor. Who's going to Manahar? All right. So I guess this group gets to meet back up with, uh, with Bulverk. But I guess Ivor probably takes over. What? It did not need to come to this. You, you, you killed her. Stop this, Ivand. Avand, this is enough. Or that's enough. You told me we would be in and out of here. This isn't in and out. We hoped Velka Ducey wouldn't be foolish enough to attack us. You hoped I would let an escaped prisoner and a dead Velka rob us without a fight? We hoped you would see reason. Reason, yes. What was your reason for breaking the world? You look at Juno, unsure what to say. You didn't tell me all of this was your fault. Juno looks at you, but says nothing. You re you've recruited Ingvar, yet kept him ignorant of your actions? Even you have no idea what you're talking about, Ducey. Call it, uh, call it a hunch, but whatever is breaking this world stems from the source of our weaving. You, Juno, were sentenced to death for manipulating minds. You knew it was forbidden. Volca Ducey coughs, and a small flex of blood hit the stone floor. But you were helping Avon to, what, become a god? Juno says nothing, her anger apparent. Become a god, this doesn't make any sense. And now this darkness. Avon, what did you unleash to bring her back? Avon gasps and looks strained. A few stones drop from the walls. Our cause broke consul laws, but that does not make it wrong. You should you could have realized the importance of our work. You should have. And you too should have stopped. Stopped your curiosities when the council warned you. You'd still have your life. Have each other. Do you even see what you've become? Juno's confidence vanishes at the question. You have never seen a Vulca's tears until now. Oh, the Vulca's tears until now. And the Varl. Are you threatening to control his mind too? If I were you, Ingvar, I'd... The large door to the Vulca's hall shakes from a great impact. Impact, then shatters. Bulwark is here. No, not you. Not now. We will have our vengeance for your deceit. The floor and the walls are now glowing, floating and breaking apart. Another Volca enters the room. She looks concerned for the barely conscious Ducey and mortified by Juno. You lied to us. Your oaths meant nothing. Bulverk's rage is consuming him, and he is spitting more than speaking. Is that Belwer's feigned body? Not just his body, I fear. Bulverk's mind is not his own. Bulverk looks at you, and his eyes go wide before a cold hatred settles into his stare. We know you murdered Rays and her child. Who are you talking about? We who? Those of us forced below. We who are already paying for his crime. Bulwark points past you to Avend. After I kill you, Ingvar, I'll rip their bodies apart. I'll pull this arrow and... No. The fear in her voice is infinite. Avon reacts to her by screaming, and the whole tower pulses with crackling energy, shaking violently. Ivor, I'll help Avon and hold off Ducey. Kill Bulwark. You're the only one who can. Bulwark growls deeply and stands to his full height, brandishing his axes. He looks stronger than ever. Stay where you are, Ingvar. You step forward, but feel the air thicken around you for a moment, stopping you. Then it suddenly releases its grip. No, Zephyr. Now, you will do as I say. The Vulca Zephyr looks shocked by Juno's control, but you waste no time in charging Bulwark. You slam your head into him with tremendous force, sending him reeling across the room. Do I have to fight Bulwark with Ivor? This is not a preferable situation. At least let me promote him or something? I don't really have much of a choice. I sense another mind within Vol Bulwark. 
So, yep, there's the two of them. God damn it. Alright, whatever. I mean, Ivor does more damage. For all of my people who fell to your schemes, you will pay. God damn it, Bellower. Why is he doubled up here? All your people? Nope, we're not going to use any of ours. My strategy here is just to be within reach of Bulwark and to hit him as hard as I can in the first blow. Come on, Bulwark. Okay, Zephyr's under my control, but I think Bulwark is possessed by Bellower. Bellower! Seems I'll get payback for my arm after all. Okay, so question. How far can he move? Uh, we're gonna wait. Actually, can I move one forward? No, can't. We do not want him to get the first blow. Rays and thousands of others will be avenged. Alright, perfect. Uh-oh. Avon is losing control. Watch out for the lightning. Okay, so we're going to move forward one. What the hell was that? Alright, whatever. Okay. Yeah, the easiest way to beat Bulwark is by reducing... Okay. He's got regeneration. Ride Zephyr's Wind. A lightning strike might f free Bulwark's mind. Okay. Okay, so we want to move here, and then here, and then here. Okay, that didn't work. Damn it! This isn't working. This is really awkward. I didn't realize we were trapped by lightning. The problem is, there's not much I can do apart from, like, hide on the other side, because the lightning just goes randomly. So... Effectively, we have to hope for the best that he, like, ends up in a spot with lightning on it. Well, I'm just gonna run all around with Ivor and hope for the best. Because my other, like, if, if it, if what I could do, oh, I see, I'm supposed to knock him into it. Perfect, don't move. Perfect. I forgot Ivor has a uh, knockback attack. I'd completely forgotten that we had one of them. Anyway, battering ram. What? So it didn't work? I'm really confused. Battering ram. Maximum battering ram. How many lightning hits do I have to hit him with? This is really stupid. Like... Am I supposed to kill him? Am I supposed to hit him with lightning? Because I'm honestly not clear. I'm just going to hide back here. We're just going to dodge lightning or something. Like, I've hit him with several bolts of lightning now.
and unless he like manually has to walk into it or be there when the lightning falls, like I don't know. I don't like gimmicky boss fights, and this is a gimmicky boss fight. I'm just gonna wait here for the time being. I'm just gonna be on the other side of this. Bulwark won't be able to reach it. How many light lightning bolts do I have to hit him into to satisfy the requirements here? Or does Ivor just have to go down? Well, we'll try that, but... Like, this might actually be another moment where I save Scum, just because I don't... I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, how many lightning bolts do you have to hit him into to free his mind? Or is that not the point here? I was supposed to kill him. I don't get it. All right. I I give up. Let's reload. I this time we're just going to try and fight Bulwark with his dumb respawn thing or whatever. Oh, okay. In fear quake all. That is this. Okay. That is, that is the name of this chapter. It's very frustrating though. I was like I you know, I'm ready to fight him ish. Unfortunately, I haven't promoted Ivor nearly as much as Bulwark. Which makes this dumb. Unless you're not supposed to win against Bulwark, but... Like, in a one-to-one -one con a confrontation, I might be able to. If I actually hit him. But that dumb, like, the lightning will free his mind. I'm like, okay, let's get him, let's lead him into the lightning. Oh, he doesn't lead into the lightning because the lightning hits after my turn. Okay, let's try headbutting him into the lightning. Well, that doesn't work either. Okay, I have no idea. But yeah, weird gimmicky boss fights are frustrating. I didn't really enjoy fighting Bellower the first time around, and I definitely don't enjoy fighting, uh, quote-unquote Bellower this time around. Oh. At least we can zip through most of these. <sighs> I'm just going to choose my same options just in case it matters. Well, it's battle time again. So let's see. We got Ivor again. I mean, we pretty much know the same battle routine. I'll pay a little bit more attention, but still. Another mind within Bulwark. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, that first hit on, Bul on Bulwark is free and we can do a fair amount of damage to him and I'm just gonna have to make sure I, I hit his strength down much faster than he hits mine it'll be a stupid shooting war but we do more damage to him like if hitting him into the lightning bolt uh, ruined his turn or something that'd be great but it doesn't do anything Okay, pay back for my arm after all. Okay, so Bulwark is going to approach. We know this one. Raise and thousands of others will be avenged. It's gonna come for me. Losing control, watch out for the lightning. So we're gonna move up. We've got two exertion, we can do some hefty damage to him. Oh god, he gets four of it back. Alright. A lightning strike might free Bulwark's mind. 
I highly doubt that. Problem is, he heals just back up. I don't... I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna look this up. I don't get it. I don't get it, and this is frustrating. Alright. Uh, so we're back. I'm just gonna start in here so we can get into the battle. But, uh... God, I think this is where I started. Anyway, I did a couple of things. I went back and actually... <laughs> I went back several chapters. This is a pain in the ass. But if you don't have to read anything out loud and you already know what your decisions are going to be, it actually gets a lot easier. Anyway, I'm gonna pick the same decisions just in case it, it matters. But, uh... I went back and I did two things. One, I made sure to level up Ivor this time around because he was only like a little six or something like that and that's no good for anybody. I also went back and took off Bulwark's crazy overpowered item because it was stupid. Anyway, so we're going to, we're actually going to take the, uh, the stupid approach. So, God, I hope he doesn't have it anymore. Let's, let's make sure. Yep, he doesn't. Perfect. So he's still level 10. I didn't want to, like, undo that just in case. But he doesn't have his item anymore. And that's, that's what counts. Because that was giving him one extra willpower, armor, and some other things. Per turn. We wanted nothing to do with that. So I'm, let him, I'm just going to let him be pissed off for a second. I had to do a test and I accidentally beat the game. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that everything was working right. I also wanted to make sure I knew exactly what I was doing for this challenge. Because honestly, I think this final battle is kind of lackluster and it's got a weird gimmick. Um, and it's actually really easy to beat. I've just been doing it wrong. So we just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. Dialogue runs. And then after a couple of, you know, bulwark anger screams. Slash like, there's Bellower in the background. I really wish they had actually made Bellower look cooler. Like, bulwark flat out looks cooler. Okay, so here, here's the thing. You don't actually need to, um... You don't actually need to do anything to, uh, get the lightning to show up. You don't even have to hit Bulwark. But, the reason why we're waiting is because he's got Bellower's Dream. Plus four strength and plus four armor per round. Damn it. Alright, well there's Bear Rage. But anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cowardice over here until Bulwark decides he actually wants to come say hi. But we're we either want to knock him back into the lightning or have him come find me. In the middle of a lightning field. That should be okay. He might get close. We'll see. Oh, uh, he's gonna bypass it entirely. Or not reach me in time. Oh, he's gonna reach me in time. Or not. This is honestly a little weird. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we want him to get closer. Uh, but he's avoiding it. Cause yeah, if he gets hit out, if he gets hit by lightning, he drops out of Bellower's dream, and then we can actually start hurting him. Uh, come on. It's so close, yet so far. Because, yeah, there's no straight shot. I'd have to hit him twice, and that's no good. So where can he move to? We're just going to hide out, like, way over here. Too far for him to reach, but far enough that I can, um... But far enough that gives me potentially more lightning. To smack him into. Because all I have to do is get him with that one smack, or he has to walk through it himself. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna move here. I really wish this would deny him a turn. Luckily, he doesn't do too much damage on the first blow. And we've got crits and other things that we can rely on. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to hit him as long as he doesn't hit me with something particularly brutal. Deflected, perfect. Alright! Uh, so we're just going to hit him as hard as we freaking can. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. The roof of the tower is collapsing, along with the walls. Avon has clearly strained himself beyond his limits. Ivor, grab Bellower's body and bring it close, Juno shouts. We'll drop him into the vast on our way north. You do as you're asked, just as Avon loses control. In a flash, 
threads unwind. Our intentions gone. Our fates laid bare. Yeah. We're forced to change. Pulled in new directions. For good or ill, we cannot know. How far do the echoes of our struggles reach? What can we expect from our efforts in this breaking world? Our answers. The reasons for our journey lay just beyond these walls. Well, that's it. Sorry for the short finale, but uh, that last battle was just going to be what seemed like it was too rough. Turns out I just didn't understand it. Um, but I'm glad I went back and boosted up Ivor and stuff like that. Because uh, that was a lot of fun. That was really good. And I can't wait for a year or two to pass for Banner Saga 3 to come out. Now, obviously the series is going to go on a long hiatus until then. Uh, but I will say, assuming I have time for it, I w actually am probably going to do a full playthrough. 1, 2, and 3. Uh, leading up to 3 coming out. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to change my decisions. Uh, but that'll be something look to look forward to. And that... Uh, and then we'll probably be doing the second playthrough uh, with Shell as a co-commentator. Assuming she's around and interested. But she seemed really interested. And I am totally willing to play this game a second time around. On normal difficulty. More renowned. I don't know if I'm going to do hard or not. I might consider it. But, uh, you know, really make every good choice that I want to make. And kind of truly tailor one and two. So that when three rolls around... I'm going to be able to kick ass, take names, and uh, save everyone, give or take. I wonder if Renown carries over between games. I don't think I ever checked that, but that'd be cool. But this way we could potentially promote some of the characters that, you know, uh, you know, promote a lot of the characters that we're specifically bringing into 3, and, you know, kind of ignore the ones that I don't care that much about, like the Prince, the Witch, uh, Bercy, you know, some of the characters that we just never use this entire way through. And this way we have a full party of, like, extremely OP guys that I can rely on now that I know that they're not going to get executed. In fact, did any of my decisions lead to a character getting killed in this game? No. We had one guy decide to leave, but that's it. Well, that's cool. But yeah, no, I don't know. I'm looking forward to, uh, <laughs> uh, min-maxing a little bit for Banner Saga 3, but even more so I'm looking forward to Banner Saga 3. So we can see the, uh, the final final end there. Oh yeah, I also forgot two uh, training sessions with Bulwark. Alright, whatever. Not the end of the world. Again, we'll do that when it's min-max time. For now though, thank you guys so much for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Us, me. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun and I really, really enjoyed binging Banner Saga 1 and then, you know, having the chance to take my time with Banner Saga 2. Because, uh... It, I mean, this is quite possibly one of my favorite series I've ever played. Music, visually, gameplay-wise, it's all good. And uh, I am going to be kind of disappointed that I don't get to play any more Banner Saga tomorrow. I mean, I could start over, but that'd be dumb. Uh, but still. So I guess with that, I will see you guys whenever Banner Saga 3 is coming out. And then, uh, well, as always, thanks for watching. Also, if you haven't bought this game, go freaking buy it. It's totally worth it.